Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 21 and we are starting round 14 of the Mazzano World Circuit Marco Simoncelli right here in the hashtag San Marino GP. So in pole position is Grant with Vinales and Bagnara in the front row, Mia Zarco and Quattararo, Miguel Oliveira, Spargro, Binder, Marquez, Spargro and Miller, Rins, Martin, Morbidelli, Nakagami, Lecuona, Rossi, Marini, Marquez, Petrucci, Salvadori and Bastini at the back of the grid. So a look to the red lights from pole position and away we go. Not a bad start off the line but I'm concerned about Vinales and Bagnaia trying to get the whole shot. I see a wheel on the right hand side but we're pretty strong going into turn one a little bit wide but we're still on board the motorcycle and still in the lead. So whole shot goes to Matt Grant, Vinales in second and Juan Mir got the best of Peco Bagnaia from starting on the grid. No sign of Jack Miller in the top eight as someone's just gone backwards. Didn't quite see who that was but there was a name plummeting down the top eight so someone has certainly gone backwards to start this Grand Prix off but we now go into turn six in the lead with a four tenths of a second gap so I think that might be job done. So for this video I will stay in power setting two for the majority of the race because well quite honestly I probably don't think we need power setting three as Johan Zarco has just made his move ahead of Maverick Vinales and Vinales has fought back ever so slightly and now Pekka Banyaya inserting himself back into the podium battle but I think it's pretty much going to be a clean race for us a nice clean smooth relaxing race <laughs> let's see what happens but this is the worst thing to happen for the other riders they did not want Grant to get the whole shot and then to disappear into the distance and that looks to be exactly what is happening right now in the past starting from pole position here in the circuit has proved to pay its dividends and it looks like it's paying its dividends once again here today so as we pull away from the competition seven tenths of a second clear we are now as we go into turn 15 getting across the line just after 16 in a moment's time could be roughly around a six or seven tenths of a second gap if it is then I would probably say that's going to be it it's good night Vienna for Joanne Mir and the rest of the guys but actually the gap has come down ever so slightly I don't think it's going to matter in the grand scheme of things because we are pretty strong around Mizano, but who knows what's going to happen for the rest of this Grand Prix. Is this going to be a cakewalk? Is it going to be an absolute dominance? Or is someone going to end up picking our pockets? You literally never know in MotoGP 21, and I'm hoping that AI gives us a good old fight, so that's why I'm staying on Power Setting 2 to make sure we keep things relatively close, but sometimes Power Setting 2 might be the better option depending on what circuit you are at. Towards the end of the section, I would say we need power setting three, but for now, power setting two would be absolutely sufficient as we've gone a little bit wide into Quercia. Is that giving Juan Mir and the riders behind a little bit of a taste to try and have a sniff and have a bit of a battle with the man on your screens right now? But four tenths of a second is still the lead with Juan Mir and Maverick Vinales in second and third place, respectively. But I tell you what, that is great for us. Maverick Vinales and Juan Mir aren't exactly championship contenders right now with this season. This could be helping us quite a lot against Peko Banyar and Johan Zarco. Just got to hope that both of those two men just continue to push off the attacks from the red bikes, such as the Ducati and the uh, Pramat Ducati, of course. So, so far, we're, we're relying on Team Blue from Suzuki and Monster Energy Yamaha. We're hoping they can hold on to the positions for the podium and we can just uh, gently stroll around Mizano. So the second lap will conclude as we get across the line. No doubt Grant is going to be the fastest man. And then it's going to be Joan Mir. Just one tenth of a second quicker on that particular lap. And I tell you what, the gap is down to less than a tenth of a second. Maybe we shouldn't be so casual. Maybe we should start churning out a little bit quicker, faster lap times. And then relax a little bit towards the end of the Grand Prix. But I am still taking it rather easy. Taking it rather controlled for now. Of course, comparing it to the lap time we did in the qualifying, we are roughly a second down, if not the full second down. Our qualifying lap was a 138.88, which was an incredible lap time. So compared to the actual race pace, not too bad, it's relatively close. Just a second difference in sense of the uh, qualifying to race time right now. So this victory, if it's going to be a victory, if we're going to hold on to the end and just dominate, this is going to be absolutely crucial for the World Championship. Do not forget that Johan Zarco is just two points behind us in the World Championship battle. So if he finishes where he does right now, we've taken quite a nice chunk away from the Frenchman. And of course, this will be our first victory since Red Bull Ring of Austria. No victory in Silverstone, no victory in Aragon, and both races for Aragon and Silverstone forced us to start from the back of the grid. 
So what a difference. I think Maverick Vinales did this a couple of years ago for the factory Yamaha team where he qualified last on one race and then took pole the next or something very similar to that. It was one of the rare occurrences when that happens in MotoGP. So we're pretty much doing something very similar, if not even odder, because we took two back to back uh, last place starts and then a pole position immediately after. So pretty crazy stuff so far. So we're still a very consistent pace coming in from the world champion and world championship leader. Another 131.8 coming in for Matt Grant on board the Aprilia. Joan Mir still hangs in there in second and Maverick Vinales holding on for third place as well. You can see in the bottom left hand corner of your screen there is a gap that has developed between the top five or six and then someone between that. There has been no actual crashes or DNF so far which is always great to see. We want to keep every single rider on board their motorcycle so all 23 are battling it out for decent positions as we now go on the left hand side for Quercia. Another gentle and tight manoeuvre into the left hander and now we bring on the acceleration once again. So of course I guess now is a great time to speak of it since we're in the lead and we're quite comfortable but I have made my decision for the next bike, for the next team in MotoGP 21 for the next season. Now whether I'm staying with Aprilia, moving to another manufacturer still remains to be seen, but I have made my decision and I'll probably let you know very, very soon. Let me know when you want to hear it or if you want me to surprise you, let me know because I'm very curious to tell you and I'm very curious to uh, hear what you think of my decision. Now I did have to do the full season to upgrade this Aprilia, which was the goal of mine to do so. If that gives you any indication of where I'm going to be swapping or staying next season, then who knows. But the goal was to upgrade this Aprilia before I moved on. So now the bike has been upgraded, we may be able to move on to another team. So who knows what's going to happen for now, but I'll tell you what, Grant on board the Aprilia is just a fantastic combination. And once again, we set the fastest lap of the race here in Mazzano for the third year in a row. I think maybe even more than that from Moto3 to Moto2 to MotoGP last season. And now this season, setting the fastest laps in Mazzano, leading the Grand Prix, taking pole positions. We absolutely adore this circuit. And unfortunately, this party has been spoiled a little bit. Maverick Pinales is no longer staying in third place. Pekko Banyaya, another championship antagonist, is in third position. So disappointed to say that uh, we are letting some points go to the wayside of our championship protagonists. But if we are going to win this race for my country mile, then we are only going to worry about ourselves and taking more points away from Zarco and the rest of the group. But I have just noticed as well that we will be taking some points away from the team championship in the sense of Pekka Banyaya's team and the Pratmanic Ducati team because Alicia Spargo was hanging there in eighth place. If I'm going to take the top spot and then he's going to take some more points as well in eighth place, we could have a great chance of actually reducing the gap in the team championship and it would be absolutely amazing to take a team world championship because I just don't think it's going to happen with Aprilia. Salvador and Aspargo is just as unreliable as I am sometimes, but we do get the job done and we take some victories, unfortunately. I can't say the same for my teammates. But on the left-hand side now for Mazzano, going into the final corner, a bit more relaxed this time, so we won't be improving the lap time, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we are still leading by five tenths of a second. And I do feel we could just absolutely blast by all these riders and we could just blitz through this competition regardless when it comes to Mizano. But I'm taking it steady in this one. I'm just taking it easy, taking it relaxing, because some of the Grand Prix recently I've done have been absolutely exhausting. Like seriously exhausting. Especially the Red Bull Ring of Austria. That was wild. And then fighting your way through the pack for Silverstone and Aragon was also extremely exhausting. So it's nice to come to Mizano and kind of take it easy a little bit, just to relax somewhat. Even rest the vocal cords as well, because of course the commentary, when things get a little bit hectic and haywire, does take it out of you, let me tell you. But I was thinking to actually acquire a heart rate monitor for these videos, because I do actually get really intense when this starts coming in. I get nervous, my hands start shaking, and my heart absolutely pounds when there's some serious points to be up for grabs. Like the Red Bull Ring of Austria, my heart was pounding like mad, so honestly it would be really cool to see how my heart rate looks when I'm actually racing like this, because I know you see the heart rate monitors for like in MotoGP in real life, and then you see other YouTubers using it for horror games. I think mine goes a ridiculous level when I'm playing MotoGP 21, especially racing in the career mode for a incredible result. So I'm really keen to see what happens and to show you guys how my heart rate is when I'm in the races, because honestly, I would really like to see it myself, so I would also like to show you guys as well, because I think that could be something rather niche for us. But we'll see in the future. Let me know in the comment section if you like that idea or not. If you think it's cheesy or cliche, then maybe we won't do it. But if you like it, maybe we will.
So into turn one we'll go and we are leading now by seven tenths of a second as we put in another consistent lap time from a 131.8 now to a 131.793. Those lap times are so consistent and we are just taking our time, enjoying the ride, enjoying the experience here in, in Mazzano for San Marino and just having a wonderful race. This is what the dots are ordered here today. A nice dominant race for us, so thumbs up if you're enjoying the video so far. So let's have a quick recap for the left-hand side of your screen. Grant leading the way by roughly around a second. It's hanging on, teetering roughly around there. Juan Mir in second place on board the Suzuki. Peko Bagnaia, third place of the Ducati Man. Vinales in fourth, Zarco fifth, Quattararo sixth, Miguel Liver in seventh, and Alicia Sparco, teammate to the race leader, in eighth place right now. So pretty good in the terms of the championship. It's a, it's a good thumbs up from me. I'm rather enjoying this one and rather happy with where things are going to be. And Joan Mir is taking some more points away from Peko Bagnaia by just staying in second place. It's an amazing job. But looking at the graphic in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see there's gaps brewing up now. Nobody can live with this pace that we are putting in right now. The consistent high 131s are just completely unbeatable for the AI. They cannot compete with us. And this is going to be another 131. This is going to be another brilliant lap as we now bring on the acceleration, getting close to the rumble strip, but not on it because it's uh, very difficult to remain the speed. But we get across the line, it's back into the 131.6s for another time. So this is brilliant. We are now on the penultimate lap. Do we go all gung ho? Do I try and put in an even faster lap or do we just stay where we are? Because, of course, there isn't, really isn't anything to worry about right now. We don't need to be starting doing something stupid or has start having a silly risk. Because I say that, we do a little bit of a top right Razzagatioglu going into Rio for turn four. And now into turn five to turn six, we calm things down a little bit. But I lost a lot of time there, actually. I lost a lot of time there. So maybe now it's a case of getting a little bit uh, tired and letting the concentration drop ever so slightly. It is a flaw of mine that sometimes it's maybe leading a Grand Prix for so long you start thinking of other things, maybe you'll just dip away for a few seconds in the lacks of concentration and all of a sudden the AI is right behind you and you've made a massive blunder. So I do need to stay focused here and just continue to churn out the fast lap times because that is how you stay consistent and stay focused as well. If you start doing different lap times then maybe your mind starts wandering and then the mistakes come. And we do not want to make a mistake here in Mazzano. I don't want to ruin my streak. No way. We have been very dominant over the past couple of years here in Mazzano from Moto3 to MotoGP last season and now this season doing the same thing so I do not want to let the streak end here today so on the left hand side we'll go now for turn 15 nice and tight to the apex there beautifully done as we bring on the acceleration and slowly bring on the brakes for the left hander those medium option tyres have been absolutely fantastic for this Grand Prix but they are taking a little bit of wear on the right hand side so across the line we will go after that little mistake into four earlier on we did lose our consistent pace and advantage of doing the 131s repetitively so Unfortunately, I did lose a little bit of time, but the gap is down to six, seven, maybe eight tenths of a second. It's still roughly staying as it is, so I don't think we will be caught up here today. So nine laps of brilliance. Well, eight and a half laps of brilliance. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We still need to finish this lap. Power setting two is still remaining. I have not touched power setting three once, maybe, to start the Grand Prix off. I don't believe... I've used the third power setting any time since. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below and I will apologise promptly. <laughs> but for the time being, we are approaching the last two sectors. So we go into Tremonto now for the final time of asking with an eight tenths of a second lead. And actually we're on our fastest lap time of the race so far, or near enough to the gap in the top right corner of your screen to the uh, previous lap time or the best lap time is uh, 80 thousandth of a second. So it's very close to actually being either the same lap time or uh, improving it. So actually now we dropped a little bit, but I guess that really doesn't matter. Navigate 13 correctly, navigate turn 14 as well for the very final time, and we can bask in another victory this season. Another terrific Grand Prix will conclude with a 25-point swing to Matt Grant. That is exactly what we need. Juan Mir hung on to second place throughout the entirety of this Grand Prix. Peko Bagnaia will finish third. Grant has a look behind his shoulder, gives us a big wheelie for the fans, and takes victory here in Mazzano. The confirmation on his screens right now, Grant wins with Mir in second place and Bagnaia finishes up the podium. Johan Zarco finishing only in sixth place means more points for the man on board the Aprilia.
So now a look at the championship standings and we gained 15 points extra away from Johan Zarco. Banyaya puts himself up into second place just 41 points behind and Quateraro drops down to 42 points behind. That second place finish for Juan Mir was important as he now puts himself into fifth, 57 points behind. So looking at the team championship and the Ducati, Lenovo team still leading the way but just 15 clear from Pramat Racing and now only 40 clear from Aprilia Racing Team Grassini. So good job for Alicia Spargo for finishing in 8th place and helping me close the gap. So a podium celebration, another victory for Dr. Ace and the Aces here in Aprilia and I've got to be honest with you, absolutely loved that one that was a really solid victory for us very pleased with the result very pleased with the consistency disappointed we did drop into the 132s there but hey ho things really don't matter but honestly what a great race i really hope you guys enjoyed that one not as chaotic not as exciting as maybe but it was very very important for the world championship so upon that note guys thank you very much for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comment section down below Hit the like button if you really enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for a lot more Dot Race, MotoGP, Ride 4 content and a lot more other things as well. So upon that note guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Grand Prix. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.